Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for taking part in this web show. My name is Peter, and today we'll present to you the Brückner Lab Stretcher Caro 5.0 in detail. Not only will we explain what we are able to accomplish with this machine, but we're also going to present a live demonstration about the actual handling and we'll stretch some samples together. But before we move on to our live demo and to the technical details of the machine, we'd first like to introduce the machine itself and its general features. With a Caro, you can stretch small film samples like this one at specific temperatures in order to simulate the real film production process. The usual process is shown right here. First, a film sample is inserted into the tenter and fixed by these clips. Afterwards, the whole tenter is automatically driven into the first oven, which has a specific temperature set by the operator. After the film has been heated up, the tenter will stretch the film in MD and TD direction, either sequential or simultaneous. After the stretching is finished, the tenter will be driven into the second oven, which usually has a different temperature. Here, the film can be annealed and relaxed if necessary. After the procedure is finished, the tenter returns to the inlet position, ready for the operator to remove the sample, and this is what the result looks like. As you might imagine, this can be used in many different applications. For example, companies use this machine for small-scale productions of very special materials. Universities use it in research or to teach their students the principles of film stretching, but most users come from the plastic industry. The reason is obvious. As film production machines are getting bigger and bigger nowadays, it's very expensive to perform trials of new materials or processes on them. Therefore, the industry is seeking small-scale equipment which perfectly simulates the actual production process, but keeps costs low and makes changing the parameters fast and easy. This is why Brückner has designed Caro. And this machine is already the fifth generation of our lab stretcher. But the history of these machines built by Brückner dates back to the 1960s. Here, you can see our first ever tenter with a pantograph built nearly 60 years ago. Luckily, since the machines have become smaller and smaller in the meantime, nowadays they fit into nearly every laboratory, which makes Caro one of the lab stretchers most used worldwide. But enough about history. Now we would like to show you the machine in action. I would like to introduce you to Christina in a second, one of our R&D engineers and Caro experts here at Brückner. She'll show you how to handle the machine and she will also explain all the parameters that can be adjusted. And for that, welcome Christina. Hello. Hi there. We will use a PP film to demonstrate how the machine works. So let's take a pre-cut sample and insert it into the machine. And after it has been positioned, the clips can be closed by pressing a button. As you can see, we have added a pattern onto our sample. This will help with the analysis later on. Now that the film is fixed, we will start the procedure, which has been programmed beforehand. After pressing the start button, the tenter will move into the first oven and will be preheated to this temperature. And then the film will be stretched by 7.5 in MD and 7.5 in TD. Afterwards, it will return to the inlet position. So, the tenter has already moved into the first oven. As you can see, a diffuser is now moving down to the film. This ensures a fast and efficient heating of the sample. During this process, you can observe the actual film temperature of the sample at any time. This is measured with an infrared pyrometer inside the oven and displayed on the graph. As the film now has reached the correct temperature, the diffuser is moving away and the stretching begins. First in MD and after that in TD. And during this process, the stretching forces are always measured, recorded and displayed on the screen. And once the stretching is finished, the film returns to the inlet and Christina can easily remove the sample. You see, the film is 
equally stretched and is ready for further analysis in the laboratory. Now, you will probably make many tests with different settings of materials, and it generally is a huge amount of work to fill in your Excel sheet with all different test parameters so you can keep track of your experiment. But this is easily done with our software. Each trial is automatically saved to a table with a unique trial number that is shown there. All test parameters like materials, temperatures, stretching forces, speed, and so forth are automatically entered into the table. The only thing that you must do in the end is mark the sample with a distinct trial number and you're done. So you're ready straight away to start the next run. By the way, you might have noticed that we were showing a live picture of the stretching inside the oven. This is not just a demonstration for you here today. Indeed, every cargo is equipped with this camera inside the oven. This way, you'll be able to see exactly what is happening during the stretching process and maybe identify a specific film break reason. Also, these videos can be saved to every trial if needed. Now, let us perform the next trial together, of course, again with Christina. So last time, we've only heated the film and stretched it. This time, we plan to relax the film and heat set it for a specific time at a different temperature. So let us show you how this is done. First, we move to the steps section. Here, the complete sequence can be adjusted very intuitively. You still see our last trial there. According to the program, the film was to be heated in the first oven called stretching oven. The heating time set at 50 seconds. In step two, we set the stretching step, which is also done in the stretching oven. And here you can enter whether the stretching speed is constant or changing. You can specify whether to stretch sequential or simultaneous in MD and TD or only in one direction. In the next field, you will enter which stretching ratio you want to test and the actual stretching speed. Now, we will add a new step. That is our film relaxation in which we want to relax the film by 3%. This will be done in the second oven this time and we will once again enter all relevant parameters. So as you can see, all parameters can be adjusted with just a few clicks. Finally, we will add the fourth and last step, the heat setting. The mode will be heating this time, and it will also be done in the second oven. The only remaining parameters will be the duration of the annealing, which we enter right here. Now, after all parameters are set, we will once again begin our trial. Let's insert our next sample, position it, and close the clips. Now we will start the new sequence by pressing the play button again. The tenter you see is moving into the first oven again and will begin preheating for 50 seconds. Now the simultaneous stretching begins. So let's move on to our new steps. The film is moving into the second oven, which has a temperature of 165 degrees Celsius. The clips will move together to relax the film and will now remain for three seconds to heat set the sample. Finally, once all our steps are completed, the film returns and Christina can have a look at the results once again. Now, after we've shown you the capabilities of the CARO 5.0, we would like to explain some technical details to you. Using the basic configuration of the CARO, you will be able to stretch film samples ranging from 20 up to 4000 microns. The maximum stretching ratio is 10.4 in both MD and TD directions, and the stretching speed can be adjusted from 5 to 500 millimeters per second. And the temperatures in both ovens can be set up to 300 degrees Celsius. With two ovens, the machine is 5.9 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 1.8 meters high. This basic machine 
covers most of the application cases. However, we have many options you can choose from to customize the machine to your needs. For example, you can choose the high temperature oven, which allows temperatures of up to 400 degrees Celsius. Or you might need a third oven if you plan to change between temperatures very often. Furthermore, it's possible to install additional infrared parameters in the other ovens as well. And this way, you can track the film temperature at all times. It's also possible to switch easily between different clip tables if you test different kind of materials. You can choose between a smooth surface or two different kinds of grooved tables, depending on the specific type of film you are testing. Also, installation is very easy. You will only need to plug the machine into your high voltage power supply, add the compressed air and a little amount of normal water, and you are ready to go. Of course, there are many more features and applications of this machine, but unfortunately, that would outstretch our time frame for this video. However, you are invited to contact our sales team at any time, and they will be happy to get in touch with you and answer all of your questions. I do hope this show was interesting for you, and we look forward to seeing you again in person very soon. Bye for now.